Coming up on Snow Day, New York, 7 to 14 inches expected for just New York City. And we'll see how bad it was for Washington and what Long Island can expect. Plus, your current conditions and a live report. Snow Day, New York starts right now. Hello and thanks for logging on to Channel6NewsOnline.com. I'm Ryan T. Me and the rest of the News Now team are in storm alert mode for tonight and tomorrow as this huge blizzards move, blizzard moves in through the New York metro area. We'll have another update tonight, another update or two tonight. But first, let's head on over to the Weather Center and let's get a check of the current conditions right now outside of our studio. Oh, first, actually, let's go take a look, a live look outside of our studio. And uh, you can see the snow is just horrible, and it's not going to stop. It's actually going to get much, much worse as we go into the late, late hours of tonight. Um, it's not going to stop till early tomorrow morning around 7 to 9 a.m. Take a look at this time-lapse shot we took earlier today from around 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, and you can see how it just starts to thicken. Don't forget, you can see the strong winds blowing north-northeast. Current conditions right here in New York right now put us at 27 degrees. The wind chill is a brisk, cold, 14 degrees. The wind is from the northeast at 18 miles per an hour. Visibility is only three tenths of a mile. Um, as you can see in our alerts, watches and warning map over here, a winter storm warning is in effect for New York City along with the coastal flooding advisory. And you know, also we have a blizzard warning issued for Long Island, all these. But you know, unlike most storms, the brisk of the storm, the heaviest part, the strongest part, is actually gonna come up and swoop Long Island in the city rather than usually these heavy storms like this, actually the heavy part actually goes north. Let's take a look at the radar right now. And as you can see, it's it's a big heavy storm. It's it's not a small storm. It's it's a big storm and it's gonna move in and the reason we're going to get so much is it's not that strong. It is a good, good, strong storm, but it's a very big storm, so it's going to take a long time to move in here. So the snow is just going to pile up. I mean, you see in our snow totals, 14 inches in the city. That is something that hasn't been heard of in at least a few years. Um, and you can see it just keeps moving up. Snow totals right now, these are the estimated snow totals. We um, don't have enough information yet to get your current snow totals. And current sn and the estimated snow totals, as you can see up in the north, like usually up here we'd see a lot more. We'd see maybe, you know, the, it, it'd be the reverse way around, right up here. We're only seeing about one to three inches at the best. Um, and then through here we could see seven to 11, seven to actually seven, two, three, excuse me, I'm sorry, two to seven. And then down here we can possibly six to, you know, 11. But actually I'd like to revise these numbers. I don't have them in the current map right now. We're actually estimating about 15 inches or 14 inches for the city area. And then we're going to try and possibly say about 10 inches here. And then maybe even up to about four or five inches up north. Uh, we apologize, our maps are actually kind of out of date. Um, right now, let's go to airport delays because our traffic reporter is off. Um, airport delays, we're all looking pretty good, we, th the exception of Washington Duelist, which is closed. Otherwise, everything's pretty much up, uh, up or on schedule, delays are on 15 minutes or less. Because the, we'll check in on this map a little later tonight. Later tonight, this map should be all red or possibly black, depending on the closings. Um, take a look at your five day, and as you can see, five day Sunday basically, highs are uh, all this week, highs are in the 30s. Sunday, though, we're seeing the storm, and then possibly this week, we should see some part. We were actually flirting with the uh, Scott. Sunny skies, you know, t Monday we go to sunny skies, back to partly cloudy, sunny, partly cloudy. But then on Friday, we see this brunt of the rain. So as long as we get through the storm, it looks like next week will be nice with the exception of some snowy rain on Christmas Day. Um, and remember, and coming up actually, we have a, we'll have a live report plus more on the storm. And remember, for all your updates, they're in the information bar below. We have updates on transit, schools, and airport delays right in the information bar below. As we leave, we leave you with a live shot of Times Square. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're standing outside our studios right now where it's cold and brisk, 
Again, the wind chill is just 14 degrees. I'm only wearing a couple of layers and I can tell you it's cold and no one should be outside tonight just because of the safety and the, the temperature. So far, totals are very low. Uh, the brunt of the storm, you can see it's only not even an inch on the ground. Um, but be prepared tomorrow morning. You will be amazed about how much snow would, will have fallen after only just a couple of hours overnight. So once you hit the pillow, wake up and it will be at least a good five or six inches, depending on where you live. So again, you have to be prepared in order to, um, you know, deal with the storm. Either you might, unless you have, you need a plowing company, or if you don't have a plowing company, you can make sure you have your snow blower. Or if you don't have that, then just you can do it the old-fashioned way, right here, with the snow shovel. Um, also remember, there's lots of ice. I just almost slipped on some right here. Um, snow is only starting to accumulate, and there is much more of it where this is coming. Stay with Channel 6 News and the News Now team. For, as we keep you updated from New York and Boston. And again, for the latest updates, follow us on Twitter at Channel 6 News or become a fan on Facebook. Just go to Facebook, search Channel 6 News, and look for our logo. I'm Ryan T., and we'll keep you updated throughout the night. Remember, stay safe and stay alert. Again, latest updates, just go to Channel6NewsOnline.com and search snow.